Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. This time I'm going to talk about music. And you might be like, wow, I thought you were a writer. And it's true, I am. I am a writer and not a musician. But music is still a really like big part of my writing process. It really helps set the mood and get me like in tune to what my characters are thinking and, and, and feeling. I always make playlists to go along with my books. And so this and so today I thought we'd take a look at the playlist for The Ever After and some of the songs that really helped um set up Willow's journey. So when you look at the playlist for um, The Ever After, you might notice two things. There's a lot of covers and there's Scandinavian songs. And I use and I use both of those to kind of like um, tell her story because the, tr uh, the trolls live separately from humans, but they're still kind of part of their world. But as such, their, their pop culture references can be slightly dated because they're kind of, they're, they're, they're part of, they're not exactly part of human society. They're removed a step back from it and so a lot of the musical stuff that these characters are listening to even in 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 the in the 2000s are, are older artists like the 60s and 70s and so I used that a lot um I used a lot of covers of songs from the 60s and 70s to kind of populate Willow's world to give it like a nice kind of like modern moody spin but still give it that kind of um dated classic feel I guess the Scandinavian songs and the Nordic songs are because it's based on Scandinavian and Nordic mythology. So I wanted to incorporate some of that, and especially in Ula's journey, she she does encounter more songs um, and and poems and things like that from her from history. So I really wanted to incorporate their kind of like more ancient history roots into it. Include a camera obscura's cover of Super Trooper. It's originally a song by ABBA, which is a Scandinavian band. And it's like a really fun, upbeat disco song. And so this one's kind of like a moodier version. And I really liked it. Um, I think that Ricky, if you remember, listens to a lot of ABBA. So. Headlock by Imogen Heap. That one kind of like is a standout. It doesn't exactly go, I think, completely tonally with uh, some of the other songs in the playlist. But I really love Imogen Heap. And... The Headlock song was one that I listened to a lot when I was writing the original Switch 10 years ago. So that's kind of why I included it. I wanted to go, because I, I was really thinking about the roots of the series and going back. So that's why Headlock is on her. It's a really good song also, so you should listen to it. <laughs> I listened to a lot of War Drew and I while I was writing the series. And they're a Scandinavian band and they play with um, all original like Viking old Nordic instruments. And they sing a lot of like old Nordic songs. And they're kind of like really trying to um, keep alive that old heritage and so uh, I included Fehu but there's like uh, lots of other songs I have that are really great and the reason that I included that one though is because I like the kind of um, uh, chanty sound to it I thought it might sound like some of the music that the owl folk would make and so that was kind of um, my idea for including it but I think they all ha they have a lot of good music if you if you if you're into Scandinavian um, folklore Nordic folklore at all I really suggest checking out Ward Druna they're very good also the band Schuld I think it's pronounced Schuld or that's how I would I think the Swedes would pronounce it. Um, they have got a lot of really good music too. Uh, it's again in that really Nordic kind of um, sound that I really really liked, and I think it's a really it's, it's a really good tone for the for the books, especially um, some of the final battles. All along the I also included the the cover of All Along the Watchtower by Thea Gilmore, and I think it's like a really nice haunting cover. It's also a song that it was um, you probably heard a lot. It's in like a lot of Vietnam War movies kind of associated with that. I think it was originally written by Bob Dylan, who was from uh, Minnesota, which I always think is fun. And uh, Bob Dylan, actually, he went to school, the same school as my grandma. It's true. They didn't know each other, though. Um, when you think about All Along the Watchtower, though, you probably think of the Jimi Hendrix version, which is really good. It is a really good version. So, But I, I, I liked the, the kind of Thea Gilmore's uh, version because it's a little bit more haunting, a little more moodier. And I also like adding like um, a bit of feminine vocals sometimes. And then finally, I Will Follow You Into the Dark by Mia Falek. It's, it was originally by Death Cab for Cutie, but I really like her her version. It's very kind of sweet. It's It's got like almost like a, a lullaby sound. I think, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a woman singing it, but I really kind of picture Pan saying all of this to Ula because she's like, you know, I've got this stuff to do and I don't know how it's going to go. And he's like, wherever you go, I'm going with you, you know, if, and if you, so it's really, yeah. So I have um, a link in my bio to the Ever After playlist, and you can also check out my Spotify for all my other book playlists. I think I have them for most of my books 
up on Spotify and you can see what I listen to when I write. And I actually do listen to these songs when I write and, and to get myself in the mood and stuff. So um, I hope that you enjoy it. I hope this is helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and um, be well. <laughs>